Hey everybody, it's Craig with Smartphone Emmy. We've got a great face-off for you today. A little Verizon 4G showdown between the LG Revolution and HTC Thunderbolt. I want to thank Russell and Monica for setting me up with our contestants for today's face-off. And don't forget to stop by SmartphoneEmmy.com. Check out the winner of today's face-off, the written review, as well as photos and videos taken from both of today's contestants. All right, let's kick off our face-off, the LG Revolution. Weighs in at 172 grams. It is the heavier of the two. Build quality. You've got Gorilla Glass. Got some nice chrome accents on both sides of the phone, as you can see there. On the back, looks like black chrome strip, which I think is just clear with the black background. Nice chrome accent around the camera lens as well as on the speaker. Let's pop off the battery cover. Battery cover itself is made out of kind of rubberized plastic. The battery is a 1500 milliamp hour battery. There's no rating yet, but I'm guessing somewhere around seven hours of talk time, depending how much time you spend on Verizon's 4G network. Micro SD card slot right here comes with a 16 gigabyte micro SD card pre installed. Based on where it is in the battery, it's not hot swappable. Here's your 4G card right there. Get our cover back on. Up on top is the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack along with the power and lock key. On the right hand side, volume rocker up and down as well as the HDMI port. On the bottom is a microphone and on the left hand side is the micro USB port with its cover. All right, the HTC Thunderbolt weighs in at 164 grams. Again, build quality, you've got Gorilla Glass. Got a nice chrome accent here above the, or over the earpiece. Some high grade plastic down at the bottom. Lower portion of the back is aluminum as well as the area around the display. Battery cover itself is made out of a rubberized plastic. So I'll pop off here and show you. Got your kickstand right here for watching videos. Underneath that is the phone speaker, which you can see there. Comes with a 1400 milliamp hour battery. So it's a little smaller battery rated at 6 hours and 30 minutes of talk time. Micro SD card slot is right here underneath the battery. So obviously it's not hot swappable. It does come preloaded with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. And your 4G SIM card is directly underneath the battery down here at the other end of the phone. All right, get the battery cover back on. Up on top is the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack along with power and lock key. On the right hand side is the volume rocker, on the bottom is a microphone, and on the left hand side is the micro USB port. All right, let's talk cameras. LG Revolution offers a five megapixel camera with autofocus, LED flash, and geotagging. Video capture is 720p. On the Thunderbolt, you get an eight megapixel camera with autofocus, dual LED flash, geotagging, as well as face detection, and again, video capture is 720p. All right, let's take a look at at our displays because again we've got a couple of very nice ones find the home screen here there we go all right the LG Revolution offers a 4.3 inch TFT capacitive touch display resolution of 40 by 800 offers an accelerometer sensor proximity sensor as well as multi-touch below the display you have four touch sensitive keys main menu key home key back key and search key upper right hand corner you've got a front facing 1.3 megapixel camera for video calls on the HTC Thunderbolt, again, a 4.3-inch TFT capacitive touch display, same resolution, 40 by 800. Also offers an accelerometer sensor, proximity sensor, as well as multi-touch. Four touch-sensitive keys below the display. Again, a little different order, home key, main menu key, back key, and search key. And again, upper right-hand corner, 1.3 megapixel, megapixel, easy for me to say, front-facing camera for video calls. All right, as far as memory, the LG Revolution, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, along with 512 megabytes of RAM. HTC Thunderbolt, 8 gigabytes of internal storage, 768 megabytes of RAM. And again, internal storage can be expanded, additional 32 gigabytes on both of our contestants via micro SD card. All right, Wi-Fi, they both offer 802.11 BGNN, along with support for DLNA. Bluetooth on the LG Revolution is version 3 with support for A2DP. The Thunderbolt version 2.1 with support for A2DP. They both have GPS with support for AGPS. They both can be used as Wi-Fi hotspots. They both have the same processor, Qualcomm's MSM8655 1 GHz Snapdragon processor. They both have the same operating system, Android 2.2 Froyo. The user interface on the LG Evolution is the Optimus UI from LG. And on the Thunderbolt, it's Sense 2.0 from HTC. It's time to run our Quadrant Standard Benchmark test on our two combatants. Uh, just wanted to let you know I have both displays set to automatic brightness. And let's run that. And we've got a good clean start from both.
The only advantage here would be going to the HTC Thunderbolt with a bit more RAM, 768 megabytes of RAM versus the 512 on the LG Revolution. But we'll see if that makes any difference. You can see the frame rates, frame per second, lower left-hand corner. Get you a look at the displays and the quality. Again, they're both 4.3 inch TFT capacitive touch displays. And the Thunderbolt is just about done. All right. When we get on the Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt came back 1866. And what do we get from our Revolution? Revolution came back at 1838. So the HTC Thunderbolt was our Quadrant Standard Benchmark Test winner, but by, not by a heck of a lot. I think it's time we ran our unofficial speed test. Let's go into Applications and Advanced Task Killer and kill all the selected applications as it were and hit the home screen. I'll try and kick these off at the same time. We'll start with the calendar. But I look like a dead heat to me. Let's try Maps. I think that was the Thunderbolt. That was pretty hard to tell. Let's try Settings. That looked like it was the revolution. Let's try Gmail. That looked like a dead heat again. You guys are going to have to help me on this. Let's try messaging on both. I think that was the revolution. Let's try contacts on both. That looked to be the Thunderbolt. Let's try the market on both. Not really fair. For some reason, the revolution hasn't updated to the new market look yet. Let's try third party movies. And that is definitely the Thunderbolt. And again, they're running, both running off the same Wi-Fi network. So that was the Thunderbolt. So I'm going to need your help on that one. That was pretty tough to tell. I think the Thunderbolt was maybe a hair quicker on a couple more than the uh, Revolution. It's time for our YouTube comparison. Again, I've got them both running off the same Wi-Fi network. They're both set to default to HQ. And let's kick this off and see how it works. The displays are both set to automatic brightness. All right, that was definitely the Thunderbolt first on that particular one. Let's try another one. And we're off. run one more so far it's been the Thunderbolt let's try one more and we're off all right there's a look at our YouTube comparison it, it seems as if the Thunderbolt um, spooled up and played the HQ YouTube videos quicker than the LG Revolution, and I'll let you guys decide on which display you prefer. Time to see if I can offer a little gaming experience. I don't know if there'll be any entertainment value in it, but we'll give it a shot. We'll start with the Thunderbolt. And again, remember I'm doing this through a camera lens, so as you can see, I can't seem to avoid the water. Ooh, that hurt. We're back. All right, there's a lap. Let's try the... Revolution.
little shortcut there. All right, there's a look at the little gaming experience on both. Hopefully that wasn't as painful for you as it was for me. I think it's time to do a little navigating with the LG Revolution and HTC Thunderbolt. And the Revolution comes with Bing as its search mentor. And so I had to do a little configuring. It didn't come with Google Maps, so I downloaded Google Maps from the Android market along with Voice Search. Again, you can use the uh, Verizon, 8, Verizon Navigator on both of these phones if you want to pay for it. Uh, but this is a way to do it for free and it works quite well. Navigate to Corner Bakery. All right, and we're off. Head north on Lamsburg Circle toward Instant Port. Uh, to say that they did it well would be an understatement. They both came back with the voice guided turn by turn navigation almost exactly at the same time. I've got them set with the satellite view. So let's scroll around a little bit and see how well they redraw. And the Thunderbolt seems to be doing quite well. Again, you can double tap to zoom in, also pinch to zoom on both. And the Thunderbolt seems to work quite well. Revolution, again, redraws pretty quick as well. Double tap to zoom in, pinch to zoom. So I would have to say both of them pass with flying colors. Again, on the Revolution, if you want to set it up to navigate this way, you're going to download Google Maps as well as Voice Search and then use that and you can tell it to navigate any place you'd like.